Hello, so today let's look at an example having two critical sections and how the priority inheritance protocol works. So imagine we have three tasks and task one has the highest priority, task two is the middle priority and task three is the lowest priority. So first task three comes and it executes its normal execution and then comes the critical section where first it ha where now we are looking at two critical sections so first the critical section a occurs and then the critical section b occurs what happened here when uh, when a occurs the first resource get blocked it acquire a lock and related to A and when the B when the critical section B occurs then it locks a resource required to critical section B. When while this is executing uh, the priority of task three is still lower and when task two occurs here with a normal execution since it has the highest priority uh, task 3 get, gets preempted though it is a critical section and it's give the priority for task 2 hence we can continue the priority of task 3 as lowered at this point so what happened next while executing task 2 required to access the critical section B but first it was locked by task 3 here hence what happens is the priority of task 3 inherits the priority of task 2 and it it's becomes high how much it is going to be in high we're looking look at next so then uh, since prior task to get preempted for how long we'll look at next and it because since the available task is the task 3 next it continue executing the critical section of task B after that then comes the task one and the, since it is the highest it is a highest priority task task three get preempted and executes next executes the task one its normal execution so still task three is the it task three remains its own priority which was uh, inherit before from task two and here then what happens task two required to access the critical section a but critical section a is already logged by task three which is uh, from the beginning so what happened is task one has to wait and the priority is of task three is then inherited from task one and it goes to high then since task critical section a was previously held by task 3 and priority is now high task 3 become gets the chance to execute by preempting task 1 and where was the task 3 before preemption he was it was executing critical section b and it continues its execution and then it get it releases the 
critical section resolves here because it's finished its job and then it has to execute the task critical section a job and it it finished its work here and it releases now both a and b resources are available and since task 3 finish its critical section activity and every other work it has its priority goes to normal priori normal priority the lowest priority from here and then the then from the available task 1 and 2 the highest priority is ha having task 1 but it was looking for ta critical section a and here, since now a is available it executes task a here and once it finish it execute it has one more normal priority task it executes that and it finish all all its necessities and after it is done only get task to get the chance task tools waiting from a long period of time to access the critical section B so now this is the time for task 2 to act to do access critical section B and followed by a normal execution and then it is finished so finally all the tasks are now have been executed so this is how it works